Artificial Intelligence, Sam Altman and Chat GPT. Lisbon welcomed the world's cream of the crop for the holding of the 69th meeting of the infamous Bilderberg Club in mid-May 2023. Under draconian security measures, 130 participants from 23 countries gathered at the Pestana Palace Hotel. The central topic on the agenda was artificial intelligence with guest CEO of OpenAI, creator of ChatGPT, Sam Altman. Altman was invited to the Bilderberg Club conferences in both 2016 and 2022. Samuel Harris Altman was born in Chicago in 1985. Altman is Jewish, raised in St. Louis, Missouri, and has been a vegetarian since childhood. At the age of 16, Altman re revealed to his parents that he was gay. Growing up gay in the Midwest in the 1980s was not the coolest thing, he said, and finding chat rooms through AOL was transformative. Secrets are bad when you're 11 or 12, he said. In 2005, after about a year at Stanford University studying computers, he dropped out without earning a degree. That same year, Altman co-founded Looped, L-O-O-P-T, a location-based mobile social networking app, which was subsequently acquired by Green Dot Corporation for $34.4 million. In February 2014, Altman became president of Y Combinator, Altman also co-founded Tools for Humanity in 2019, a company building a global iris-based biometric system using cryptocurrency called WorldCoin. By 2020, Sam Altman had left Y Combinator to focus full-time on OpenAI as CEO. OpenAI is an American artificial intelligence AI research laboratory Founded in San Francisco in 2015 by Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and others, and currently employs about 380 people. Musk stepped down from OpenAI's board in 2018. During Altman's tenure, OpenAI released a number of popular AI production tools to the public, including DAL E and ChatGPT. The original GPT paper was announced on the OpenAI website on 11 of June 2018, generative pre-trained transformers, commonly known as GPT, are a family of neural network models that use the transformer architecture and are a hallmark advance in artificial intelligence AI that powers genetic AI applications such as chat GPT. GPT network language models enable applications to create human-like text and content, images, music, and more, and answer questions in an everyday conversational way. Organizations and people in all industries use GPT models and artificial intelligence for text writing and summarization, new and non-new content creation, search, etc. ChatGPT, which has had around 45 TB of text data poured into it, was launched in November 2021 and caused a public frenzy, quote unquote, as it amassed over 1 million users in less than a week. And while neural network language models have been around for a long time, OpenAI's success lies in capitalizing on that research and creating a tool that everyone can now use. ChatGPT ushered in a new era of artificial intelligence for all mankind because after its launch, almost all major technology companies around the world started investing huge amounts in artificial intelligence, thus wanting to create their own cutting-edge AI systems. The prospects of ChatGPT were such that Microsoft decided to invest $10 billion in OpenAI, while it had already invested $1 billion in the past. Professor of Communication Linguistics at the University of Crete Mr. Hadzikiriakidis explains, Today's language models, such as the model behind ChatGPT, are based on neural network architectures, a category of methods and algorithms in the more general field we call machine learning. Neural networks learn through examples. They are trained through a learning process by seeing data and trying to find patterns that will allow them 
to make structural generalizations about the data. Regarding what the structural change was in relation to the older technology language models, Professor Mr. Hadzikiriakidis explains, previously these systems were based on a set of rules that organized words into larger units, phrases, then organized the phrases into even larger units, the Koch sentences, and with these they could analyze some text, and with the same rules and vocabulary, these systems were able to produce text as well, and this was the symbolic uh, approach where the systems knew but did not learn. However, to the question, if there is a cognitive barrier that seems impossible for neural networks to overcome, Professor Hazuki Akidis answers, there are things that current models, such as ChatGPT, struggle to do accurately and cases where they fail miserably. The chat GPT does not have a theory of truth. It relies on an earlier well-formed speech production model, chat, chat GPT 3.5, so it can improve and produce syntactically good text, but which may be semantically unrelated to reality, he said. The chatbot, originally Chatterbot, or artificial intelligence, a software application and creation of OpenAI, can write any uh, type of text asked of it, from novels, plays, poems, and articles, to philosophy essays and university theses, but it can also uh, produce man-made videos and images, and now the bag of Aeolus has been opened, and now it is in the, tur the turn of Meta, Alphabet, Amazon, and Apple to counterattack with their own chatbots. The Economist magazine speaks of an epic race for supremacy in artificial intelligence that has just begun, noting that the outcome will determine how quickly the age of artificial intelligence dawns for computer users everywhere, and who will it be? The dominant? La Repubblica writes about war-ready Silicon Valley startups, but also high-tech giants such as Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Meta, and even the Chinese Communist Party with the giant company Baidu. By January 2023, and in less than two months, ChatGPT had attracted more than 100 million users, TikTok reached this number of users after nine months, and Twitter took about two and a half years, and consequently, it does not cause any surprise that OpenAI was quick to launch a plus updated version of its excellent creation and with a subscription of $20 a month. As of 2019, Gates Microsoft has invested a total of $12 billion in OpenAI, which puts it in an advantageous position in the AI race. Given that Bill Gates considers artificial intelligence as the hottest topic of 2023 and considers the development of ChatGPT as important as the development of personal computer and the internet, the Microsoft company does not see the time to include ChatGPT in all its software and applications. However, things are not so simple, predictable, and rosy in all their versions, dimensions, and applications. For example, the Black, a BlackBerry survey showed that 51% of IT executives fear that ChatGPT could soon be capable of even launching cyber attacks, prediction that shows us that the future is written as exciting and positive as it is relentless and gloomy. Speaking to a special congressional committee in early June 2023, Sam Altman was disarmingly clear. OpenAI's CEO told U.S. lawmakers, if AI goes the wrong way, we're all screwed. We must act together with the government to prevent this from happening. Yet many leading scientists and entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs involved as pioneers with artificial intelligence are now warning about its implications. Speaking to Congress, Sam Altman, who also said that artificial intelligence will re revolutionize education as calculators did in the past, but it will not replace learning, wanting to assuage the fears of the MPs, he admitted that certain jobs will be lost. However, he noted that new categories of work will appear. I don't think this is going to have the impact on work that people expect, he said. 
There are also quite a few who are justifiably afraid of the malicious use of the chatbot. For example, these could be used to trick people into revealing personal information such as bank account numbers, display a fake personal ad on a dating site, send highly offensive tweets to users, spread fake news during an election, achieve an artificial or attractive social proof, etc. And apart from these, there are a number of central, essential and world-class and interesting topics and issues where AI also works on the basis of pre-introduced and canned food with the program basis of collated and pre-selected data and with the calculation method where always and by definition garbage in, garbage out. For example, uh, can ChatGPT refuse to make a joke about Muhammad, but instead make a joke about Jesus Christ with the nails on the cross? According to what the British Paul Watson wrote, the program was asked if it can make a joke about, and that included Jesus. Why did Jesus refuse to play ice hockey? Because he kept getting nailed to the boards, the program replied. Ha ha, that was funny. Can you do a Muhammad joke? Asked a British user. The AI program responded by saying it must follow guidelines that prevent it from creating content that could be offensive or disrespectful to religious figures, including, including the Prophet Muhammad. In another case, artificial intelligence brought to life Jesus Christ to, who himself so or so allegedly answers questions. One such chat box called Ask Jesus it's designed to imitate the teachings, words, and wisdom of Jesus Christ based on a mashup of religious texts and teachings attributed to Jesus. Users can ask for guidance on topics ranging from personal relations, existential questions, to even discuss angelic forces and entities. Recently, the National Library of Medicine, in February 15, 2023, requested and received responses from ChatGPT Regarding the coronavirus conspiracy theories and mandatory vaccinations, ChatGPT's responses were completely against and against claims of COVID vaccine conspiracy. Regarding mandatory vaccination, ChatGPT's response were positively neutral, listing the advantages as well as disadvantages of mandatory vaccination. In conclusion, I think it's easy to draw a final and general conclusion about artificial intelligence. When the world is already in the midst of an ongoing World War III, then and nothing else, the uh, globalist program and uh, educated artificial intelligence is nothing more than another weapon for new agers to achieve their rapid impoverishment land and the great uh, reboot of the WEF. While the good and the benevolent truth is that humans could indeed be helped and learned and educated by the leaps in technological process, process, yet alas and unfortunately the dark forces have different and irrevocable plans and goals. Consequently, the use of artificial intelligence is yet another global duduka as well as yet another famous Kabbalistic author who primarily serves the, uh, the uh, international elites. And this is by PhD Dr. Elias Kaliotis, international professor author and former member of Parliament of Greece, Theotida. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Thank you. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.